It's me, Oxide Fox. Yeah, I know, it's been quite a long time since you've seen any activity from me, but definitely trying to get back into the swing of things. And I've been having a lot of fun building these models again, and figured I'd, you know, give you an update, show you what I have recently made and what I'm working on now. So I got the uh, Cadillac here, made by Ravel, on the Jeep chassis with the working suspension. And, you know, these are always fun kits to work with. I'm a sucker for a Cadillac, and those Jeep kits are just so awesome when you have so many good parts. So I gave a little pickup bed there, big tanks in the back, all kinds of menacing-looking spikes. Try to make this just as mean and ugly as possible. You know, big gun on the roof, hatch. Pretty standard post-apocalyptic stuff. Big truck horn there. Step. Supports. All kinds of little details that really just add up into something special. Got a little graffiti here. Uh, those are just decals that you can put on the side of train cars. Uh, graffiti. And uh, I've been using them a lot on my models just to give it even more character. Got this GM square body, also made by Ravel. This is the big game country or whatever it was called. And just went for something pretty simple on this actually. I think I built the kit completely stock and all I did was glue some extra pieces onto it. Like the armor here, with the the gussets that go up on the side, roof lights. I had another one of these kits, so I had a second one of these brush guards or push bars. So I figured two of them would fit on that bumper pretty good and be a quick and easy modification. A lot of damage here, scrapes, rust, dents little side spikes there. Try to keep people away from the tires if you're being chased or whatever. 57 Chevy back bumper. And the huge gun. Decided to give this one a little more versatility, I think would be the word. That swings around. Don't know how you'd swing around. Probably be like flailing your feet around down there trying to <laughs> trying to move it, but you know, it's post-apocalyptic engineering. What do you expect? <laughs> yeah. They're not the the greatest kids underneath, you know. You don't see the floor, so you can see like up in the seat and the bedsides, all that. But they go together pretty quick, pretty easy, and except the tires, they look cool, but they suck to build. They're always a, a pain, they never fit together right. And as much as I hate having the tread go down on this side and up on this side, it has to because the inside tire wall is a, a lot thicker on one side, so the wheels will only fit like that. It just feels like it's got backwards tires on one side, you know? Alright, but I've been working on a whole lot of things. I got 66 Mercury on some wheels from a Hot Wheels monster truck. And still got a lot of work to do left on this. Got the stock bumper, but pushed it out real far with some diamond plate. Got a big, well that happened, big oversized radiator, the stock engine, little brush guard or rock slider on the side there, got an actual full spare, decided to sink that into the body, try to give it a unique look, and yeah, still got a lot to do on this one, uh, weathering, had a frame support there to make this transfer case look 
a bit more realistic. And then some damage and all kinds of stuff. Still got a while to go on this one, I think. And I got another model with that same Jeep chassis. A 66 Ford Galaxy with a blown drag racing engine with the dual coil setup. So this will be a handful. And still got a lot of work to do on this before I can get it into paint. Simple wheel wells with angle iron. It's all just plastic styrene. Uh, you can get online, Amazon, or even just hobby shops. Yeah, so right now it's still in its early stages. But I'm trying to go for a more detailed interior, so I'm using some special parts that I've had around. Like the footprint gas pedal, don't know if you can see it. Uh, more detailed steering wheel, center console, parking brake. Trying to use some of the good parts that I have piled up that I've been saving. So, more detailed versions of batteries and all that. It's still working suspension on this one as well. See, I extended it in the back on this one. I'm gonna have to figure out some exhausts, something, some with a lot of characters, something mean and just exciting, I think. Another kit is a first generation Nova. I think this was gifted to me by uh, Crash and Cinder. So thank you for that one. I think this was, he got it for me for my birthday a few years ago and I finally been putting some work into it. Got some wheels from a, a Subaru and Definitely just trying to, uh, trying to make the vehicles look a bit different. They all can't be on big off-road tires and have the same exact look. Because they're all not built by the same people in the same area, so it is tricky to give them character so you don't end up with a bunch of identical looking vehicles. Got the trunk open, diamond plate in there, exhausts. So far, just simple stuff. Tried to give this one a whole lot of body damage. Um, yeah, definitely glue that back on when I get the frame all together. Still got a lot to go. This was a drag racing kit, so it's uh, got the huge wheel tubs and the simple interior with the like metal door panels. So that was pretty cool. Um, Flip the axle on the hinges, get it up in the air, and try to go for something different, try to make it look like it slammed into something, and uh, yeah, definitely a type of body damage I haven't done on anything else, but I went for like a modern engine, I don't know if that's like an LS or something, but yeah, definitely trying to give my characters more or give these, well, these cars are basically characters, and uh, trying to give them more personality, and you know, just going for different modifications and different styles. And then another kit that I've been building or fighting, however you want to look at it, is the MPC made mech, heavy duty. DM 800 and originally this thing was asymmetrical you can see the cab would have been farther over here but I wasn't really digging the look so I chopped it off the firewall and centered it still got a lot of work to do and every single piece I've had to just massage and sand and test fit a dozen times and bend and it was a nightmare to get it to line up this well and it's still not even perfect, but it's got lots of lot, uh, lots of uh, little details and cool parts. You know, I love this grill. It's got chrome letters that fit in there, little chrome emblems and 
foot ornaments and all kinds of stuff. So that'll be fun finishing this one up. Got working back suspension, but the uh, the drive shaft wasn't really able to telescope, or at least I didn't do it right. The directions are not very clear at all. So I just made a telescoping one on that. Simple interior, just built that stock. Still working out how to do this one. Uh, the tires just slide on real easy, but they did have the those big inserts that you have to cut out. So that's always a bit annoying. But this is gonna be something really cool when I'm done. All right, and I got one more thing to show you now. I'll keep this video a little short. I bought this on eBay. I uh, spent probably a good amount, good chunk of money, probably over 60, 70 bucks. But it's an actual vintage AMT model. Like this one is actually from the 60s. So, and this is something I've been looking to see if it exists. And when I saw that it did and there was one for sale, I just had to buy it at any price. Well, not any price. I think I was prepared to go to 100 bucks. But this is a 1960 Lincoln. And I just had to get this thing because I own a 1960 Lincoln. This is the Mark V with the slanted back glass. Mine's the Premier, so it, the glass comes down like that. Mine's a four-door. But other than that, like, I'm debating how to make it. Do I want to make it look like my Lincoln, or do I want to make it look like, I don't know, just anything I think would be cool. But yeah, so this is uh, going to be a lot of work, because I'm definitely going to be... Um, taking my time on this one given how old it is and how rare and unique and it actually came with a second body and this one is a four-door but as you can see this body is not aging well it's all warped and cracked and glued back together so this might become a post-apocalyptic vehicle in my fleet at some point still has the glass which is pretty amazing still intact as well so that's yeah that's pretty gnarly actually uh, the chassis is actually metal looks like this could have been a slot car or something I uh, know you would have pushed this on the floor and yeah that so like a kid's toy and got all the details I could do a 59 it looks like with that bumper and I do actually have a Lincoln hood ornament, which I got from the AMT Lincoln, so pretty excited about that. And this is definitely going to be something special to me when I'm done. But yeah, so let me know in the comments what you would like to see. Any tutorial videos, how-tos, more models uh, that I've done, reviews, anything basically. I'm trying to get back into the swing of it and any suggestions for videos that I could get started on would definitely help. All right, well, I think that'll do it. Thank you guys and I'll see you later.